local fans of mixed martial arts or MMA are in for a treat this coming October. Back-to-back -back MMA competitions, namely the One Championship Tigers of Asia and the Malaysian Invasion MMA Grand Finals, will be held at Putra Indoor Stadium in Kuala Lumpur on October 9th and 10th. Traditionally, these two events were held separately, and top fighters from around Asia are making their way here. One Championship CEO Victor Tree says MMA fans are craving for more action from the region's MMA stars. This is the world's fastest growing sport and it is exploding in Asia. Why is it exploding in Asia? Why do we have so many talented fighters and athletes out of Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, China, Philippines and a room filled with some of the best looking athletes in the world like Peter Davis over there? <laughs> He was good looking before he was a fighter, by the way. So the, the, the big fighter didn't turn him good looking, in case you're, that's the path that you're going on. Um, but why is the sport growing so fast? It is because for the first time in the history of Asia, we have the opportunity to build and cheer the best fighters and the best athletes in the world that are homegrown and from Asia. We realistically, can see an Asian talent or a Malaysian fighter or a fighter from Asia competing with the best fighters in the world and have the ability to become a world champion. Tree says the fact that MMA stars like Ann Osman are featured in the media worldwide shows its growing popularity. You know, as many of you probably know, she's actually, relatively speaking, still a very young fighter. Um, with a few fights under her belt. She's on a winning streak. I think she's got four fights under her, her belt. Three and one, I think, is, is her record, or four and one. She embodies the spirit of martial arts that everybody has been waiting for in Asia, has been waiting for a hero to look up to. She's beautiful, she's articulate, she's strong, she's athletic, she's graceful, she's Malaysian, she's Muslim, she's got all these things. And that is why she's been on the front page of New York Times, featured in Time Magazine, featured in CNN, featured all around the world. She got the greatest coverage as an example of where this sport is growing and how hungry we are for Asian heroes to call our own. The events will offer prize money of a total of 150,000 ringgit as well as the world champion titles. Hey,